everybody, this is Avong Eka, the Prince of Pricing and Prospecting, founder of Economics, the Economics Academy, Eka Digital Media, and international best-selling business author. Now look, I had a quick point today I want to share with you guys. Depending on where you're watching this, YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook, wherever it is, and it's a little overcast, but I want to talk today about the difference between the prosperity mindset and the poverty mindset and that the single difference a single difference is, is huge in terms of your ability to to sell to that person to grow your business to grow your life even your career it doesn't matter what it is it doesn't matter if you are you're managing other people you're a supervisor manager executive whatever it is it's the same thing it's the same level of mindset plays a role in all parts of life and i've been able to use that 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 success or prosperous mindset to not only get a best-selling book, not only get a book deal, right, traditionally published, and additionally go play uh, professional basketball and grow a business. And the main thing is, the main difference between the two, between a prosperity mindset and a prosperous mindset is very simple. It's how you see yourself, how you see yourself and what you're doing. So everybody in life has a story. They're telling themselves a story. They, t- they have a series of stories they tell themselves. Outwardly to other people, and internally as well. And your ability, right, to master the story in your mind and, and, and relate that to, to real life is the way that you either prosper or fall into poverty, plain and simple. So here's an example for business owners. You're sitting in front of somebody, selling them your package proposal, you're afraid to mention your price because you think it's too much. So what ends up happening from a prospect's perspective, and I'm sitting there looking at you thinking, this guy doesn't believe in his own price. If you don't believe in your own price and you're stuttering saying it, how am I going to believe in your own service and your product? There's absolutely no way. How many of you guys watching right now have been afraid to mention your price because you're afraid that someone's going to uh, say it's too much or be or push back? We instinctively push back on price all the time. It doesn't matter if, we, if, if it's a part of our budget. We're always going to push back because we want to get a deal. There are a lot of people who will negotiate for sport. They're not negotiating because they have a, they have a, a money crunch or financial issue. They're negotiating because they want to tell their friends or their boss or their peers that they negotiated a great deal at a great price. How many times have you done that? Now, if you're an executive and you're training, uh, you're responsible for other people, you're a supervisor, it's the same thing right? You don't come across clear, nor do you come across certain in how you deal with subordinates and how you deal with people you report to. And as a result of that, both parties don't respect what you're saying and maybe subconsciously don't respect what you're saying, don't rely on what you're saying. And as a a result, they, they inadvertently undermine you. So I was recently speaking to a group of over 70 uh, amazing salespeople who are responsible for several hundred millions of dollars in sales every single year. And this is a market leader uh, in that particular industry and category in the Midwest, actually in the country. And they're, they have like 19 locations across the country. It's a huge company. So I, was, I had the privilege, and actually they paid me, but I had the privilege of being there and speaking to their sales team. And one of the things that I harped on was the importance of having this particular mindset and having certainty in your product, certainty in your service. Because again, people are, are paying you or spending money. They want to know that you have the solution to their problem. They're not paying you because of price. They're not wasting their time because of price. You will overpay for something if you know in your heart of hearts that what you're getting will solve your problem and you can move on to something else. Same thing in general when you're dealing with uh, an employee or dealing with a supervisor. People want to follow someone who has certainty and who has leadership, plain and simple. And so you can apply this internally to your, to your company. You can also apply this to your sales team. You can apply this to your life, to your relationships. And my ability to do the things that I've done in my short life literally has been predicated on the stories that I told myself, how I saw myself, how I rejected the stories of other people who project their fears, and how I was able to focus. And it all came down to prosperity mindset versus a poverty mindset. And... Again, for your company, your business, your employees, uh, what, what we've been able to do is help a lot of different uh, organizations create clarity in what they're doing, not only internally for their employees, and, and help them attain goals by, by a system that, that I use, I created, not only in my life, but I've used for other companies, uh, but also helping sales team achieve their sales goals. And it's not as, it's not as simple as just following a five-step process. It's actually learning and figuring it out what, what motivations you have intrinsically and extrinsically and in making sure all those things align with the central focus and goals of the organization. 
So as always, if you have any questions, click the links below, click the links in the video, uh, reach out to me, depending on where you're watching this. I'd love to come in and speak with you as well as your organization. Secondly, be very clear in what you're doing. Be very certain in what you're doing. Love your price. You believe in your product, right? If you believe in your product, you believe in your service, you believe in your employees, tell them the truth. Be certain in what you're doing. And more importantly, when I, when I, when I meet with people and I'm we're, you know, proposing uh, services to people, I, start, I usually start with the price. I get it out of the way. Because then they're, now they're going to be wondering why, why it's so much or why it's so high or whatever it is. And then I can focus on actually showing them how we're going to change their lives, change your business, and make their lives a lot better because we, we, we're working together. So, as always, thanks again for watching. You've been phenomenal. If you have any questions, thoughts, or comments, please comment below. Also, please like, share, subscribe. I love your comments. If you hate the video, put it in the comments below. If you love the video, put it in the comments below. If you think somebody else could, could learn from this or just glean some, some nugget of information, please do me a favor and share this with them. Tag them below, whatever it is. We're trying to get as many people as possible in the movement of economics. And again, again, prosperity versus poverty mindset. You guys are all prosperous. That's why you're watching the video. The people who will watch 10 seconds and then go on clicking Facebook and clickbait and worrying about politics and the Kardashians and there are others who want to improve their lives like you guys who are watching this to the end. Take care.